Hello, my name's Carl. I'm the head chef at Hartford College, and today we're going to cook some sea bass with some local asparagus and a wild garlic pesto. So the asparagus comes from the Wye Valley, and we um, supply this by Bonners in the covered market in Oxford. The wild garlic has been locally foraged by one of our chefs on one of his many dog walks, and all of the asparagus has a natural breaking point somewhere into it where the tough stem, which we use for soups, isn't really for this dish. And then you just take a peeler, and I like to go kind of a thumb, I use my thumb about an inch up, and just peel down and go down to have a nice kind of presentation to that. And it just starts to show off the colours of the asparagus, which I think is really important. So I'm just going to drop that into the water, and that's going to take about two minutes to cook. Got some rather nice oil here to show you as well. Um, Cotswold gold, so that's obviously from the Cotswolds, it's using rapeseed oil. You don't want too much oil in the pan, you just want a nice film. And it's also important just to get some on the skin. So I'm looking for a crispy skin on the sea bass. Okay, so that just goes into, into there. And then we just wait. And I'm gonna cook that. The best way to explain this to, to chefs is 80% that way and 20% flip it over. And that way you get a nice perfect crispy skin. So all these will save up and make a soup. But there's a soup upstairs in hall today. It might be called spring green soup or something like that, but it's, um, we, we, we will use it up into things. Um, and another one, we, I mean, we save, like we use a lot of beetroot as well downstairs in the kitchen. So any trimmings from that, we make um, like ketchups and pickles and chutneys. So we, we are doing a lot of work into reducing our food waste. Right, you can start, if you look at that sea bass now, how that's changing, you can see where the white is and it's starting to come up, which means it's cooking from this way. At the same time, we're getting a nice crispy skin, which is nice. Asparagus is nearly cooked. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on there, a touch more sea salt, and I'm just going to take this out. And it's really nice. Whenever you cook any vegetable, to hit it with some nice olive oil or rapeseed oil and some sea salt while it's still warm. That's a nice little tip. So I'm going to turn that off. That's nearly done. So the pesto, toasted pumpkin seeds instead of pine nuts. The wild garlic, which if you do go out and find locally, make sure you uh, wash. It's very, very important to wash, keep clean. A little bit of lemon zest, because we are cooking with fish and it just does give it a nice citrusy kind of background. Grapeseed oil. And you can make this, if you go out and you find this in your woods or just buy some from the supermarket or whatever, you can make a batch of this up, put it into a kilner jar and that'll keep, that'll keep for a good week or two in the fridge. Right. You'll start to see how vibrant the, uh, the colour is. You can see the colour in there now, how nice that looks. So normal pesto would be pine nuts, cheese, basil, garlic. We've just changed it and played around with the, uh, with the flavours. So you see the fish now, non-stick pan, which is really important. You can see what I'm, what I'm talking about, the 80%, 20%. For me now, that is ready to cook over. Uh, cook over, flip over. So, and how nice crispy skin we've got there. So that's cooked now. I'll just put him on there just to rest. Take some of um, any sort of excess fat away. So a nice thing about having these chutneys and ketchups ready in the kitchen, we can use, use to garnish. And it just gives, you can see where I'm coming from with the color, the purple and the green. It's gonna look really, it's gonna help stand up on a plate. I'm hoping these aren't gonna blow away. It's not too many because you know we tried them and they're quite peppery. And then I've got some, uh, these are rosemary leaves from just from the from the uh, bush behind us, yeah? So now we're going to go with the asparagus. Some chefs like to cut asparagus, like down to the spears. But I think, you know, it's such a wonderful product. I don't like to, you know, people need to eat all of that, really. It's quite a healthy portion of asparagus. I see this. And then, I'm just going to drizzle some of this around the outside. Local asparagus, foraged wild garlic, zero waste beetroot ketchup, and asparagus. That's it.